Welcome everyone. Um, I'm Lorraine Grant. I'm the director of the Barn in Bankery. It's my absolute pleasure and privilege to welcome you all today to this absolutely beautiful environment. Our thanks to all the staff here at the Royal Botanic Gardens in Edinburgh for hosting uh, this particular session and this part of what has been a few weeks of uh, very stimulating, exciting and generating discussions all around Scotland. This work we've done, the deep wealth of Scotland, uh, started out very innocently. Uh, it's been a long journey. Um, lots of folk have, have helped us, particularly the, Huts, uh, the Hutton Institute, Safari Network, and Lorna Dawn, Dawson, Susan Crooksley, Mark Stutter. They, uh, they have the power to enable this work on the ground. And so we're deeply appreciative of, uh, of their cooperation and the barn's ability to, to bring them along. And also the people at the barn, the deep wealth of Scotland was embedded in its commons. The commons being the air, the forests, the topsoil, the farming, um, and the people, particularly the mind, the people, the, the mind of folks. And so the first thing we do is, once we get the sketch laid out, is to start to examine how do you create a million person conversation. And um, we never created one. There are 1.2 million foragers in this country. And so they are already a, 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 a million person conversation. And there is already a, in this, embedded in this conversation, if you take quotes from them, as we do, you find that they have just the issues we want to see happen. Anybody wants to see happen. They are love of the land, deep respect, um, caring, harvesting with where the harvest preserves the system. And if you look at the larger map, um, you would see lighter greens and darker greens. And our map, we asked our map maker to choose the existing forest and then extend it as far as they could, get away with extending it. That is, you couldn't extend it into farmlands. Uh, you could snitch some pasture land. All farming has turned into monoculture. Um, we have on the left agribusiness monoculture of the worst kind. I mean, the Barnes, a rurally based art centre in Scotland with a history and interest in ecology and sustainability, yeah. and through extending an invitation to have a conversation with, you know, Newton is, you know, perhaps the leading artist for the global uh, art and ecology movement have an opportunity to work very um, strongly and robustly with a, an academic institute like the Central for the Study of Course Majeure um, and the team, you know, has allowed us to really move with quite a degree of rapidity and ambition from a project that looked very much at the floodplains of the Dean, from very local to us, very, you know, concerned with our immediate environment, to working with an artist who's translated that vision to national level. So we've gone from the micro, we're now conversing about the macro. And there's something about the timing and the agency and the realisation that as a country, we have both these opportunities, but also policies that are being discussed by our government around climate change, around environment, around education, cultural policy. So it's how can we collectively continue to mobilise that conversation to effect. And I think that's really what we're hoping um, to, to engage you all in uh, with, with Newton and the wider team. Um, one thing you didn't mention at the start, when we originally invited Newton and he came over, we were thinking, we were saying this is a kind of three to five year project. The minute Newton got started, and certainly when we were talking back in March, we kind of flexed that a little bit to a 10 to 50 year project. I think. <laughs> Small change. So, so just, yeah, this is, very, this is early steps in a long process. As Lorraine says, it fits in with a lot of things that are already recognised and already to some extent happening in Scotland. Mm -hmm. The key is, how can we, with your help and the help of others not in the room, join up all of these many fragmented conversations and bits of knowledge to address the urgent issue that's in front of us? Mm -hmm. And the wider team and it's integrating the science with the art and finding the right way, getting the right voice and getting together the right people. And that's something that we at Safari, where we've got Safari, we've got the vehicle 
that we can deliver that platform to allow the right people to be in the room at the right time to deliver the right solution. And that solution is for the future generation. Um, what Newton has been saying, the Scottish Wildlife Trust, for instance, with the Free Living Landscape projects that they have, are synthesizing urban uh, practice and urban ideas uh, with uh, ideas of, with, with trees and towns and so on, and the relationship of trees to landscape and the rest of Scotland. Reforesting Scotland, about, I think it's about 30 or 40 years ago, um, uh, got a group of people together to go to Norway where they do exactly what Newton was saying in terms of looking uh, 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 of actual practice in Norway is to farm sheep and arable and forestry on the same strip of land. 